another simple thing we can do is clean up the trigger bow. This is our trigger, trigger bow here. It drops in through the back and it should just glide in the frame nice and smooth. This one does pretty well. There shouldn't be any upward movement. Very minimal if you can. You know, you can replace it with aftermarket triggers. I've done so in a couple other videos. I'll put a link here for you. But what you want to look for in your trigger bows is to make sure there's no sharp edges around the edges sharp edges on the edges, let's say that. And uh, so what I usually do here is I'll polish this with a Dremel tool and some kind of polishing compound because this is the part that actually makes contact inside the frame in those channels. So I'll polish this on both sides. I'm gonna use a buffer wheel. And then on the back right here, you wanna make sure this is, this is smooth as well, nice and slick. Feel, you want it to feel like it's wet when you're done. And if you, it feels like that, you know you're done a pretty good job. Actually, the trigger bow on this looks really, really good straight from the factory. Another thing to look for with your triggers is drag on the magazine. So here's the factory magazine it comes with. You want to make sure your trigger slides up and down. It's not making contact with the magazine because once the trigger's in the gun and you seat a magazine, you know, the, the trigger has to move across the magazine in order to fire. And if it's dragging, if the magazine is bent or the trigger bow is bent, it's going to make contact on the mag and drag. So you'll feel that when you try to pull the trigger. And it just it's going to increase the weight of your trigger, which you don't want with a 1911. You want a nice light trigger pull. So the next thing we're going to look at is polishing the feed ramp. Now this feed ramp is integrated into the frame and you want a nice mirror finish. This one's not too bad, but I'm just going to hit it real briefly with, the, with a polishing compound and a buffing wheel. So don't do this very much because you can mess stuff up. So do you, a little bit goes a long way when it comes to this. So I'm going to use my little grinder, get a little polishing compound, and I'm going to just going to hit that real briefly. See if we can buff it up just a little bit. Not too hardcore. Okay, so we might want to make sure we get all that grit out of there because that's just going to create more friction later on and wear metal parts as you go. But there we go. Again, a little bit more of a mirror finish. Like I said, don't do this very much. You know, you can change the, the, the angles and everything and cause more problems later on. But this polishing the feed ramp should give you a little bit more reliable feeding. In addition to polishing the, the ramp on the frame, you can also polish a little bit of the barrel right here. Just you want to get that mirror finish. Remember, tiny bit. Don't do it very much, just to knock off any edges you might see. Okay, now I'm going to look at a friction point for the hammer and the hammer strut. Now this is the hammer. This is the hammer strut. In order for the hammer to go forward, it needs a spring. This is the spring. It's mounted inside the main spring housing, which goes in the back of the frame over here. Now the hammer strut on the end of it, you want to make sure it's nice and polished, nice and slick, rounded, no sharp edges or anything like such because it sits inside this little plunger right there inside the mainspring housing like so. So it wobbles back and forth on that. It's going to move on that. So you want to make sure that there's no nasty burrs inside there and on this thing right here. And just by looking at this, I can feel some real nastiness on there. I'm not sure if my camera's picking that up but there's some edges on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buff that out, maybe hit it with a little bit of uh, real high or fine sandpaper and see if I can't smooth it out just a little bit. Okay, so I've buffed out the end right here. I've taken out the little burr that was there before. Now it seems to be nice and smooth. So hopefully this will help us with those friction points.